Hi, I'm Rob from Skid Steer Genius, and today I'm just going to show you a couple more of our adapters. What I have here is a 14 pin to CID adapter, as well as an 8 pin. So the 8 pin works great on your older Caterpillars, ASV, and Terex, and it uses a very similar looking connector. If you look at them from the side, they look identical because the housing's the same, but when you look inside, you've got 8 pins on the ASV style, you've got 14 pins on the old Bobcat or or Kubota, Case, New Holland style. But they plug in to the to harness the same way. So CID ships the, the swing boom with just this on here. You plug these in when you want to make them work on a different machine, just by turning this like so. And now I can plug this into the machine here. Okay, so that's, that's to make it work on this ASV. But now if I want to make it work on a 14 pin, I can do the same thing, just turn this until it clicks, then lock the collar in place. Now this will run over on that Kubota over there, and I'll just show you how this operates. CID swing boom on the Kubota. So I've taken off the 8 pin adapter. Now I'm going to put the 14 pin on the same way as I did that. Turn it till it clicks and then turn the collar on. Snapped on, it's not caught, it's coming off. I plug it into the controls of my machine here. Get in. Another thing that we do, and I'm going to show you that uh, in the next section of this video, is we also make a CAN adapter to go on a Bobcat, any of the newer series ones, which are operated with a 7-pin, 
7 pin is a CAN controller, which means it's got just power ground and then it's got a digital uh, control interface. So that uses a special box and controller, but it has the same connector on here. We can do it that way. We also have adapters where if you do have a 14 pin, we have a, a CAN adapter that'll plug directly into your 14 pin. Sometimes you do have to move a couple of the pins depending on how this uh, connector is configured. Now, if you have a Bobcat 7 pin, which is a CAN controller, we have these nifty little devices that plug into the CID connector. It snaps. Then this has a computer controller inside here. So the next thing I do, I just wanna scrub around here. And then I plug this directly into my machine. Now this will take the Bobcat codes, decode it, turn it into 12 volt switched and four controls and allow you and finally, for those of you that still have 14 pin machines, uh, what we have here is we have a controller that's 14 pin and we have the uh, pigtail that's 14 pin. So again, this would plug into the CID connector, snap down. And then on this end, this just plugs directly into the uh, 14 pin and then plugs directly into the seven pin on the Bobcat. The beauty of having it this way is if you have several different machines, maybe you have a, a Bobcat uh, seven pin, but maybe you have some old machines that have a 14 pin on there. You can literally just take this controller off, put it inside the machine, and you can go back and forth. Or maybe you have a caterpillar, you want to jump back and forth between a caterpillar. You can do that as well. If you have an old caterpillar, we have these in an eight pin version as well. So you could have eight pin on this unit, plug it into an old cat uh, A, B, or C series, and then plug this directly into the, into the uh, harness here, and then plug it into a modern Bobcat. So we have all of the different var varieties here covered with either a controller or with one of our pigtail harnesses. And you'll find these online at skidsteergenius.com.